The mission of the AI Accelerator is really to make AI real for our airmen and our guardians. As the uh, only dedicated AI unit that's uniformed in the Department of the Air Force, our airmen that are alongside the most world-renowned computer scientists, creating solutions, shaping the research towards Air Force equities and really towards societal equities. Here at the AIA, uh, we all have a little strange titles, uh, but basically we are all um, artificial intelligence researchers um, while also attempting to liaise and make a difference within the department. A lot of times AI is just considered like an extra or something in the future to consider or just a nice to have. And we're putting it in the forefront of people's minds that this is not a nice to have, not anymore. You may have thought maybe a couple years ago, maybe it was a fad, it's not going away. The AI Accelerator provides the opportunity for us to break it down, to make it more approachable and accessible to people to talk about this topic. And we're a place where you can get answers to your questions. I'm Captain Ranisha Carter. I am the Director of Artificial Intelligence Engineering here at the AI Accelerator. I'm Captain Lindsay McAvoy. I am a 15 Alpha Operations Research Analyst. My name is Tech Sergeant Monica Cabrera. I'm the Airman Lead for the Multimodal Vision for SAR. I am a Geospatial Intelligence Analyst. Captain Victor Lopez, uh, call sign is SALSA. Uh, my AFSC or my job is 18X, so I'm a MQ-9 Reaper pilot. I'm Jasmine Furtado, I'm a 63 Alpha, and I'm a Project Liaison here at the AI Accelerator. The fundamental research that we're looking at is known as NER, or Name Entity Recognition. Single Channel and Multi Channel Interference Rejection. Generative Adversarial Network Scans. Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. Things like sensor tasking, how do we automatically task our sensors to look at events of interest in a way that's more optimized. We want to help you get to that place where you're able to understand the technology. And then we want to take that understanding and bridge it into how can you apply it in your work center and how could it create efficiencies and capability that is really going to change uh, the way that we think about work, the way that we execute work, um, and the way that we're dealing with national defense uh, as well. Wars have uh, been defined by the person who can observe and orient the fastest. Um, that is at its fundamental core why this is important to us. If we can introduce AI in small ways to people, I really see the opportunities there and that's, what's, that's what excites me really about the AI realm.